Drifting is a thrilling motorsport relatively new in Nigeria. Car drifting competitions were first popularized in Japan and then taken up by the West. <laughs> In Nigeria, we now have car drifters in Abuja, Kaduna and Lagos. I caught up with some car drifters who were practicing for an upcoming motorsport in Lagos. These friends, some of whom met online, others through work, come together every year to drift. Organizer of the practice, Paul Otoho, tells us where his love for drifting started and why he loves the sport. Well, I started drifting in Kaduna, you know. You know, I had one or two sessions there. It was nice. It was nice. You find a closed road, you know, no danger of hitting anybody, no danger of accidents, you know, open road. Go there, drift. Seeing people, you know, uh, going around in concentric circles and it's the control. It's the adrenaline rush. It's the, the vibe you get of it. I don't watch football. I don't watch uh, basketball. I don't watch any sport except motor racing. When I say motor racing, I mean Formula One, MotoGP, rally, you know. That's me. That's me. So for me, drifting, driving is, is fun. It helps me clear my head. For some drifters like Shina and Yakubu, drifting was a journey of self-discovery for them. I love cars, I love engines. Even from when I was way young, my dad had like a lot of cars. And I was always excited to go on drives with him and his cars and all that and all that. So I would say that love probably started from my dad having a lot of cars and my dad liking cars and my dad like doing a lot of maintenance on his cars personally. The way he took care of his cars, basically, that rubbed off on me. And I would say my love for cars literally went like next level from that point. For a long time ago as a child, my dad loves cars. I do like cars from video games. And as I grew up, uh, got, a, got in touch with a couple of friends. And then we had a community for cars. And then I got my first car. Um, I was abroad and uh, it's a BMW also. And then, of course, uh, took that same lineage all the way till now. The drifters want to grow their community and they're encouraging car lovers and potential drifters to join in. We have so many people that have big machines, big automobiles and do not have places that uh, they can willingly come and drift their cars. So it's very nice, it's very wonderful. We should have more of this. We're even planning that we should have more spaces. We'll get a proper center instead of people just doing it on the roads and we'll do it more responsibly. And then you have a good center where you can, you know, drift and drift more. We want more car drifting. We want more people in the community of drifters. There are so many people that know how to drift and I mean. Like for every sport. Safety is an essential precaution for car drifting and drivers who drift in public spaces are advised to desist. What we do constantly is when we see people like that, that are putting the life of others in danger, we call them out and tell them, excuse me, you doing this at social location is bad. You can go to certain locations and pay for it and do what you need to do. Come here, come to this arena where we are today and you drift and do whatever it is you want to do. If anything happens, it is controlled. The vehicle is a machine and anything can go wrong at any time. So you do not want to risk public life or you don't want to put anybody's life in danger. So always do whatever you want to do in a very, very controlled environment and in a safe place. Make sure all the safety precautions are available. There's water on ground, there's fire, you know, um, there's fire extinguisher. Make sure all those things are available and constant monitoring. So if you notice, all the cars have been parked for a while. The temperature is high. We need to also ensure that the cars come back to normal because even if you are looking at it from the part of, oh, I'm not hitting anything, the car can go in flames. So you need to observe every single safety measure there needs to be, or there is to observe rather. Those guys are really endangering people and endangering so many people. So re my advice is, I think they should just come over to what we're doing here. We're trying to do drifting in a controlled space. We don't want people on the road so that we don't have um, sanctions against us that are drifters. So it is better we are in the community and then we can be able to uh, regulate how much people drift around and then there will be no um, unnecessary drifting on the roads and keeping the roads safe. These drifters have gone ahead to create their own car and fashion show called Revs and Runway. 
But what is the future of car drifting in Nigeria that potential sponsors and even the government should look at? Uh, motorsport events that are domiciled outside the country. Look at Formula One, look at like Isle of Man TT. Isle of Man TT, for example, is a high grossing event. I mean, they're talking profits in the levels of 100 million pounds on a race week, race weekend. All the mini businesses around benefit from the high influx of tourists. The idea with Reza Norway is something we're going to expand beyond the borders of Nigeria. The idea is to start taking on West Africa, you know, with what we're doing and see how we can interact with, you know, people who love motorsport outside Nigeria. That way, when we're bringing these people to come and see what we do every year, every local business here also gets the benefit from it because people want to stay in hotels, people want to go to clubs, enjoy the nightlife in Nigeria. For that weekend, we'll have our event. These car drifters have built a friendship, funded their passion, and have created their own motorsport event while they wait for sponsors to catch up. And one word of caution, please do not try this at home.